if you're relatively new to cryptocurrency and crypto in general, you've probably heard the term distributed ledger. And you probably ask yourself, what is a distributed ledger? Because it is often used to describe the decentralized elements of a network. And we're going to talk about that in this video. Defined simply, a distributed ledger is essentially a digital database that is spread across multiple nodes on a decentralized network in order to protect the data within it from manipulation. It's also worth noting that the terms distributed ledger and blockchain technology are often used interchangeably. What's different, however, is that a distributed ledger differs from a centralized ledger. Let's take, for example, a bank. A bank is a form of a centralized authority. They have a ledger or a record of transactions of your debit account, for instance. They have a record of when you went to Subway and when you bought a sandwich at this store and when you bought groceries and the movie ticket you bought the other week as well. They have a record of this, but it's centralized. Only they have that record. You can access the record, but only they have true ownership of that record record. And if they make a mistake and they change your account balance to zero, well, then it's completely on them to fix it. You really have no recourse. A distributed ledger, no one given entity owns the information on the ledger. It's distributed amongst multiple nodes. So you can almost think of it as like 100,000 computers all owning the same copy of that ledger. So if one computer says, hey, you know, this guy has zero dollars, the rest of them say, no, 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 he has $15. Everyone settle down. Your uh, record on your ledger is incorrect and you've been excluded from the network as a result. What it essentially does is it increases the security of the network because it ensures that no matter what, that the security of the network is never compromised because the consensus model, which essentially ensures that everyone on the network agrees for the value and the information on the ledger is maintained. This isn't to say that distributed ledgers are infallible because there have been hacks in the past, as I'm showing you here with Axie Infinity. What happened in this case, however, is that the network was not as decentralized as people thought it was. There's only a handful of nodes. So if you're able to essentially compromise one node, maybe you're able to compromise a handful of nodes rather quickly and actually get away with a large sum of money. This is why when you look at Ethereum and Cardano and other major networks, they're looking at improving their decentralization. They don't want a handful of nodes. They want hundreds of thousands of nodes. And that really protects the validity and the validation of their network of their blockchain, of their distributed ledger. Because if you're able to hack one node, cool, but there's no way you're hacking 100,000 at once fast enough in order to make a, like a noticeable impact on the value or the information held within those ledgers. So that is why decentralization is so valuable. You need to be decentralized in order to protect from given attacks. There is an attack called a 51% attack, which we'll cover in another video, I'll link above, but essentially that means you're taking over more than 51% of a consensus network and you're gonna be changing the ledger so that you change the consensus. You have more than 51% of majority, so you can change the information on the ledger. That is why distribution and decentralization is so important. The more you are decentralized, the more nodes there are, the harder it is to pull off that kind of attack. It's also worth noting that distributed ledgers have a ton of value, not just for you and I trying to make transactions on the internet and online or wherever we may be, but there's also a lot of institutional interest in distributed ledgers as well. We live in a modern society where hacks are becoming more frequent and major companies are seeing the opportunity and the value of a distributed ledger to protect their assets because they're also vulnerable to hacks. So we often see cryptocurrency and distributed ledgers as a form of monetary exchange, but we often don't realize that things like smart contracts can be protected by distributed ledgers, right? A smart contract that's executed cannot be modified if a, you know, decentralized network is protecting it via consensus. This is where distributed ledgers kind of really showcase their value and you're seeing institutions take advantage of it as well. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped and, uh, you know, check out this playlist I have linked above here if you're interested in learning more about crypto. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.